Hello everyone, welcome to the crazy project where I'm mining an entire Minecraft world completely by end. And well, on the last episode we have been over here peeling the mountain, making the stone layers go a little bit deeper. And today what I want to go and do is to go here to the other side of the lonely mountain. It has been a while since we have been mining on this area overall, so uh, what I want to go and do is to go get my beacons over here and reduce as much as possible the stone layers to give, uh, yeah, even uh, more tallness to the lonely mountain over there. So, uh, yeah, this is the goal and this is the plan. Let's do it. Let's take a minute of silence for our fallen comrade the lake, it was basically what was still giving a little bit of life on this huge grey wasteland that is the, the neighbors of the lonely mountain, this neighborhood is getting very very grey, there is not that many patch of colors except the occasion granite and the site and some sand that I kind of forgot when I was draining the river, uh, this was the river bed by the way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, we are making progress, slowly but surely, but now it's time to go and repair very quickly the tools, drop my oars and let's keep going. Is something weird inside of this shulker box. If you guessed the Omnius bottle, indeed you are completely correct. You see, for a long long time this world was in a 1.20.1, which uh, well, it was a very late version. We now have the world upgraded to 1.21, notice the subtle difference over there. I also resetted the chunks outside of our storage building over here and uh, we kinda won a lake on our backyard, which is quite cool. Uh, there is a reason why I resetted the chunks, it's because on 1.20.4 uh, the, the, the ores generation was kinda changed and in 1.21 they introduced trial chambers, so uh, since I don't know how many chunks I have loaded outside of the original perimeter, I decided to reset all of the chunks just to be sure that I can find the trial chamber once we finish our work over there quite easily. And uh, yeah, with all of this said, I will uh, very very quickly sleep and uh, repair the tools and uh, well, of course go back into work.
And it's time to wrap up another episode. I invite you, as usual, to take a look on how it used to be and just take a look on how it is right now. It might not seem at first, but we actually made a lot of progress lowering stone layers and pushing the overall world a little bit down. Now, there is uh, another very uh, interesting thing that I need to show you. Uh, you. You remember, certainly, that a couple of episodes ago, uh, I was very proud to say that I was uh, solving the smelting situation and I am now very proud to say that I screwed it up again. <laughs> well, uh, with all of the mining that I have been done in the mountain and uh, below the mountain for what matters, uh, we reached a small situation. I have been basically on the last uh, episode smelting the iron and uh, basically we are finishing it. This is the last remainings of the iron, it's on this upper. But, the, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> the, the, the copper is striking back strong and uh, I, I, I need to figure it out something to solve it. But anyway, before wrapping up, just to give you a quick tour on the statistics, we are almost at 6.5 million blocks of stone, crazy and insane if you ask me. And uh, yeah, overall, you know, it's a big project, we are going doing some progress slowly, but we are doing progress. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed and I also hope to see you on the next one.